Well, good day and welcome back. We have an evening edition today. We have a Winnebago Micro Mini 1708 FB. And this is a quite nifty little camper in the fact that it actually has dual axles. Uh, the weight of it is about 3,500 pounds, so you can kind of see why that's so important. Most campers of this weight, you're only going to get one tire. I am going to point out, this is all metal lines, so that way if you guys are picking up rocks like in this parking lot, or you're going doing some off-roading, if you're throwing stuff up out of those tires, because they're going to pick stuff up, it's not just uh, ripping and tearing your floor open. So I guess I'm just going to dive right into it. Does have power stabilizers. The controls are right here. You can kind of see them hanging out there. Propane quick connect. Uh, this should probably point out the fact that it has Goodyear tires on it. Not going to tell you who they stole that from, Chaco. Uh, but it is a nice addition. Nice pass through storage. Does have a uh, solar charger and a solar panel on the roof. Slam baggage doors, of course. Uh, give them a little uh, push to close them up. Does have a power tongue jack on it up front. Do get the bigger uh, tank cover to put bigger propane bottles. There should only be 20 pound tanks in here. Yep, and that's true. So keep that in mind if you're looking at these. They don't come with 30 pounders, but they come with the option to put them on at some point in the future. Uh, this is actually a nice little touch. Just a little way to hold the, the seven way plug, keep it out of harm's way. And there's a little clip on there for your breakaway cable. So small little things. Really nice little unit here. You can uh, plug in, add some more solar right here. Sorry, the, the camera missed my finger. Weight standpoint is right there if you guys want to pause it. I know a lot of times it's hard to do that, so. Master battery disconnect hanging out right there. Again, slam baggage doors. We do have a uh, black tank flush option. Fresh water, satellite, park cable, power, all that good stuff. Same thing over here, nice big knobby tires. Power stabilizers. I am gonna point out, and maybe you guys aren't aware of these, this whole trailer is held together with huck bolts, and that's what those are. They're, the trailer is not welded together like a traditional camper trailer is. So, if you don't know what those are, just uh, just know that you don't have to weld on it. You're not uh, creating any stress points, and you're not not worrying about corrosion getting in there because you heated some piece of metal up and the painter didn't get quite in there. So it's kind of a nice nifty little thing all around does have a nice uh, rear ladder three stair entryway i know we've gotten onto some of these things that don't have the, the nice solid steps like this is and they're a bear to get in you're like hopping and climbing and jumping and it's just less pleasant than it needs to be so this one's real nice that way all right moving on in i'll do a quick spin around here just before i get to uh back to the doorway area. So right as you come in, you've got your control panel here, stereo, televisions hanging out here. You do have your wireless phone charger, of course. And then down below, lo and behold, tons of storage. So you've got all this in here, probably a good pantry space if it was up to me. Not sure how I feel about an analog uh, thermostat, but it is what it is. I'll move you right into the restroom since we're uh, hanging out right next to it. it. Does have a light switch, so that is nice. Decent access and storage there. Angle shower is probably a little smaller than most. If I'm uh, gonna be the bearer of uh, bad news, a little place for a shower curtain there. Still get the fan with the opening, little sky vent, all that kind of stuff. But if you are a, a larger person, such as myself, that's probably going to be a little on the tight side. However, most people who pick up this camper 
are gonna be okay with that. Nice towel rack hanger there. Nice sink. And a little hang, hangy doohickey there. I don't even know what to call that. Well, let's move right along. You can kind of see all the storage options down below here in the kitchen. I guess I'll start from the top and we'll just zip through them all real quick. Nice easy rollers, nice big. And a little bit of access port there. The camera's kind of hard to get down there. I got a handle on it, so I'll do the best we can. Sink covers are hanging out in there. Again, another little, little spot. This is for uh, fuses and breakers. And of course, there's no oven in here, so you get a nice big drawer instead. Truth be told, most campers never use the oven, so kind of makes sense. Again, I really like uh, the way they do their stove here. This is like cast iron. Kind of an upgrade, not that wiry stuff. Nice big stainless sink. This pulls out. And then moving right up to the top. Just got a little storage area here. The Winnebago bag of goodies. All that good stuff. As long as I'm here and standing here, you do have a vent with a fan on it so that you can open up and move some stuff out. Because if you look at this, there is no uh, exhaust fan. So that is one thing you will probably uh, miss. But again, not the end of the world. A lot of times people who pick up these campers don't do a whole lot of cooking indoors. And if you do, there's, uh, there's ways to do it and make it so it's a little more enjoyable for you. There is, who would have thought, a shortage on 12 volt fridges so the majority of these ones we'll be getting in do have the gas and electric which depending upon your school of thought means it's good or it's bad oh, looks like i'm missing a light here that really kind of changes things i don't mind my sunglasses nice booth dinette kind of coming down below decent storage again right there I'll point out there's a little bit of a wheel well coming from the exterior and then more storage down there too of course tables fairly sturdy these are actually really kind of cool if you look I'm just opening these up all hidden hinges and they hold themselves open so pretty nifty pretty straightforward there are speakers in here that you don't get a Bluetooth wireless speaker which I don't know, it was good and bad depending upon again who you are. AC unit's kind of hanging out above, control panels on it. Uh, not nearly big enough to need to have a ducted uh, air conditioner, so they uh, just kind of go with the straightforward, easy peasy one. Again, decent storage above. And then uh, kind of getting into the main bed area here, you do have that little net for hanging your phone or whatnot, USB and 110 are hanging out over there. Window valances are kind of nice to have. I've actually uh, been known to put things on top of here. Not that they recommend you do that, but I won't tell. And this is kind of nifty. You can kind of close off the bedroom area. If for some reason you've got, you know, someone hanging out here, it does make into a bed, but it would be uh, a rather small one. So that is this this little unit here. Kind of packs a big punch for such a small size. I know these are super popular with some people just because they like to have uh, dual axles. Just in case there's an issue going down the road with one or uh, whatnot. So I think this thing's going to be pretty popular. I think we're going to move it pretty quick. I don't think it's going to be the number one selling camper by any means, but... I think it'll do really good. As always, questions, comments, concerns, please let me know. My email is down below. Please like and subscribe.